Hi guys, Rachel Chambers, CEO of Queensland Fruit and Vegetable Growers here, just doing a wrap up of the We Give a Fork campaign. We launched back in November 2023, last year, and we launched it with three main areas that we wanted to improve. So the first one was margin squeeze, and margin squeeze was about that 30 to 65% increase in cost of production without any increase in returns. The second one was policy pylon, and policy pylon was about 18 months of full-on government impact. Um, policy regs and, and some legislation that really impacted growers. And the third uh, issue that we were trying to raise was the reputation and brand of sector. So what happened since November? Uh, well, a lot. Farmers are tonight demanding action. We are hearing nationally that growers have never had it this tough. We have met with over 60 government uh, representatives, so politicians and bureaucrats, uh, since that time. We have met with over 90 industry people and we have met with lots of growers. And in fact, our phones now, we would spend 20% of our work week on the phone to growers, which is absolutely fabulous because we can't advocate on a grower's behalf unless we actually know the lens of a grower, what's actually happening. So that is really helpful. We have seen multiple inquiries. We have made submissions and each submission takes us a week to write. So we've made, I think it's nine submissions this year. We have seen things like the biosecurity levy now being put on hold. And I suppose in Queensland, what we have seen is the Queensland government was inspired to help horticulture, which was absolutely fabulous. And we saw the Geared Up Growers project come to life. What is Geared Up Growers? Geared Up Growers is, is sort of the outcome you've been asking for. So the growers are saying, what now? What next? What's going to change? The project has two parts. The first part is negotiation skills that we want Queensland growers to be the best negotiators in Australia for their produce and try to get the best return possible. And then the second part is cost of production. We want our growers to be the best equipped growers with the best possible data in order to make their decisions. That's where we are at the moment. Gosh, there's a lot more to unpack in the next six months and I'm happy to give you an update as things change.